Hello, welcome back to the channel. Hi, this is Sister Trudy, aka Trude. And guys, I want to thank you so much for spending your day, your time, your hour, your minute. Thank you for spending it with me. All right, we're thanking God for another day, uh, a blessed day at that. You know, we are here in the land of the living, guys. Um, you know, I did a few reflections, you know, the other day. It dawned on me, you know, I saw... Before I get into that, let's get into this meal and then we'll talk about that, all right? So guys, this right here is some salmon, nicely glazed with carrots, my favorite, which is avocado, and nothing but some good home-cooked rice and beans. As you would know it to be, I'm Jamaican, so I say rice and peas. Have, of course, my water. And guys, I have a special thing I'm going to be sharing with you tonight. So if you see me going back and forth with eating that and eating this, you know, some people, they eat dessert last. I'm not one of those people. I'm a person like this. If I feel like I get up in the morning and I want to have that, I have that. If I feel like I want to have it for lunch, I have that. But anyway, let me finish off that statement. If I feel like I want to have it for dinner before bedtime, guys. But it will be a review. So this right here is a home cooked meal from whom? Well, that right there down below, or to the side rather. You'll see what it is in a minute. But anyway, let's say grace, guys, because I'm hungry. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we want to thank you for this meal you've provided us with. And we ask that you bless this meal. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hi, everyone. Hi, thank you so much again for spending your time with me and we are gonna start eating because I am hungry like I said mm -hmm. show you a close-up of it My rice and peas is um is a uh, canned rice and peas, so it's not like the the way in which I would have wanted to make it based on time. Yeah, I like to make um. Rice and peas from scratch where you have the, the kidney beans or gumbo peas, which usually my favorite is kidney beans. The kidney beans taste better. It's, um, I guess, you know, I I usually don't prepare good um, gungu, ri gungu rice and peas or good gungu, gungu peas. I usually don't prepare that. But I do know how to prepare it. I just think that I just need to try it. Try and do it, you know? Now, yes, guys, this is the salmon. Show you a close up of it. not going to keep you any longer. <laughs> this review I'm about to do is um let me just show it to you. You see that chocolatey look? That is ice cream, guys. You see the small amount? Um, this ice cream I got is from Trader Joe's. 
Now, if any of you are in the comments who know me personally, really, really personally, you know what my favorite ice cream is of all time, still to this day. But guess what, guys? I was very curious when I see they say chocolate, ultra chocolate. I'm like, I'm just a chocolate lover, period. Like in ice cream, that is not in cookies, not in not in nothing else but chocolate ice cream. That's my favorite. So I was like, let me go ahead and try them out. I wasn't going to because I'm like, nobody beats my favorite. And um, you can take a guess which favorite is mine down below in the comments so I can see we lazy, you know, we we talking together by you commenting and subscribing guys and liking and sharing. Do all of that good stuff and watch another video. Pause this one and watch the one before or the other one. And then come back to where I stopped, where I asked you, yeah, what's my favorite ice cream? Besides, so here I am saying to myself, let me try this one. And I was like, I don't know if they're up for it. I don't think they're, I, I don't think it's all that. And guys, before I came on camera, tried a few scoop the ice cream is super hard when I say super hard it's very hard it was very hard because you know when you put it in your freezer and you, you blast in your freezer my goodness I could not get you know that nice little swerving scoop hence the look on this amount plus I don't think I should have anything more than this so this is it guys this is the rich chocolate they have I can't tell you what's the ingredients I guess I'll do another review and be able to tell you However, I'm gonna try it again. Tried a little bit of it earlier, and it was good. Mm. One second, guys. I was just trying to create a thumbnail for my video but yes guys the chocolate ice cream I would say it's very rich I'm not gonna do a comparison but I will say that this one which is from Trader Joe's like I said it's it's good it's very rich in texture very dark in color which is good, but I'm not used to, you know, if, if, like I said, you know, I have my favorite, my favorite come off of it as a little bit lighter than this, but my ice cream is very, very good. But this one right here, if I never ever find mine, which you're going to tell me what it is, um, I would definitely opt for this one because it's very good. It's very rich. It's. I'd have to try it some more, but it's very good, guys. Like my number one thing to say, it's a one. Mm. it's really good I think it has to be honest now that I'm reviewing it I wouldn't put my favorite below this one why it has a cocoa taste to it that this one the um, Trader Joe's one which is good 
for some people who is a lover of cocoa and all of that but and I'm not saying that cocoa is a bad thing I'm just saying from my original love for mines and this one it would be like when I can't find mine and I feel for some ice cream I would definitely get that but outside of that the the, the, the cocoa type of taste that it has if you're a lover of kind of cocoa kind of flavoring which is rich and it has that type of texture it's good all I can say I love the richness of it but um, yeah this small amount for me would have been good was I eating my favorite now I'd have like a pint you know those small ones like that I have just a, I'll have just this and there was never this never a bowl or a cup <laughs> always the whole thing with this for lunch breakfast or dinner anytime I feel like eating that's how much I love my favorite this right here is good but just a small amount for me it would be good but guys you have to be your own judge try it for yourself it's good um, Try it with a cone, try it um, in a bowl, try it with, with a cup, however you see fit to try it. But go ahead and try it, eat it, have it. Yeah. Hmm. This is what I'm picking up. I'm picking around <laughs> the scallions. So the salmon is very good. Yes, guys so here I am oh what I wanted to talk to you about was this um, um, there was just it's just a lot of um, you know a story hit my heart you know the other day I was just watching on uh, some video and I saw where this lady, she was pregnant and she was having her baby. And before she even had her baby, she found out she had cancer. And it was so horrible, you know. Um, but the greatest part about it is that she was fighting. She had three kids, you know, that one in the belly. She had to deliver that child earlier than she wanted to. And um, yeah, and you know, I'm just thanking God that she came through. She's beating the cancer. I don't know for her story right now, but from the time I watched the video, which was, I think, today? Yeah. It was just, you know, heart-wrenching. So, you know, like I say every day, guys, good to give God thanks. You know, some people are going through some worse situation than you, than me, or than I. And, you know... You don't want to seem ungrateful. You don't want to seem like we don't appreciate our time here on earth and being healthy at one, you know, I have to say at one point because we don't know health-wise what's going to happen to us. So, um, and in that retrospect, we, we need to give that thanks. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. So like I said guys, um, so like I said in regards to the ice cream, you have to make your own decision, you know, it's just a thing where I like to 
whatever it is that I'm trying, I like to keep you in the loop so that way you can try it for yourself if you're interested. Many people might not be interested. And many people might be interested, but it's not close by to them. Just like the Caribbean star I've been telling people about. I noticed some people from my channel is living down south, like my good friend that's on my, that always watch my video and support me. I appreciate you down. <laughs> if I don't write her name down and say it in the next video, I'm going to be doing that. I will be doing that because she, I want to give a shout out specifically to her. You know, I know if a lot of people have lived in the area where the Caribbean star is, they would go. You know, so... Like I said, wherever you can find it, find it. If not, try it when you get here. But yes, guys, this meal is good. Giving God thanks. Always picking something out my food. That's just me. Yes, guys, so I'm just chowing down on this good old salmon and rice and peas. Mm. With avocado and carrots, glazed carrots. Mm. Mm. The time. Not the time, the skeleton when I'm eating it, it it's giving me a vibe of um, the pimento seed when I have to be looking for them and taking them out all all the time. Mm -hmm. It's giving me that vibe, but anyway guys, yeah, pretty much finish. Mm. Yes, guys, this dinner was real good. I don't know who, who else does stuff like this. But um, mm. now that was banging. That was banging. This chef right here. She's happening. She's going in. She's going in. So anyway, guys, I'm going to close the video. I do hope you'll join me in the next video, whatever it may be. Like I always say, I want to give a thank you. Like, share, subscribe, comment if you can and if you want and if you will. Support the channel. Support me. Uh, thanks again. Yeah. Big ups. Have a good evening. Bye.